Good morning, it's 7.16 a.m., and we're about to start. Um, this was page 7, and I got it done. I posted on Instagram, but then I did some corrections. Like, for example, I didn't do the tones on his hat. <laughs> and I added some tones on the, um, the scroll. I don't know if you can see those. These, these tones right here are new. Um, but it's done. We are at a grand total for the year of 63 pages for 2023 and 746 since I started counting on my big quest to improve. I got about 254 to go <laughs> to get through my my goal. Uh, I did I did draw a page eight. On page eight, we've moved to um the point of view of Alcabets in his studio, and he knows he knows that the package is trapped because he knows somebody's stealing it. I mean, it's nobody. So he knows somebody's concealing it. So you see, this is the my roughs, and they are very rough. That one's kind of detailed. Um, and he's trying to examine the trap. And he accidentally sets it off. So let's go ahead and do some panel borders. I always say, even if I just get the panel borders, I've accomplished something today. Um, you have to um, take your wins where they appear. And you have to be constant and consistent. So, even if all you manage is panel borders, that's still a win. <laughs> it's the days where you don't even get that that are not wins. Now, I, like I said, 63 pages, oops, for 2023. And it's May 14th, Mother's Day. Gotta call my mom. Um, that's, we're not quite at halfway. We're not quite at halfway to the end of the year. Now, it doesn't seem very likely that I'm going to get to 75 pages by the halfway point. I, th I think I'm still a bit behind for that. But that would have given me a nice, um, what's 75 pages from 63? Eight more pages. Oh, it's a possibility. It's not the, it's not completely out of, out of, the realm of possibility. Everything's a numbers game. If I got to 75 pages by the end of June, that would be the halfway point of the year, right? The end of June? Sixth, the sixth month? That would put us at... It would put us on schedule for 70... It would put us on schedule for 150 pages for the year, which is just fine by me. That would have me finishing 900 or so. I don't know. Maybe I got that wrong. Uh, if I got 64, no, 800 or so. I probably, <laughs> I would have 800 or so total by the end of um, 2023, which means 2024. 2024, about, you know, two-thirds of the way through, I would finally have reached my goal. Um, and that's about right. It's a five-year self-apprenticeship. I started counting pages in 2019. And, you know, on my way to a 1,000, thinking, okay, if I can... If I can finish a thousand pages, that's a five year apprenticeship. And that, and you know, if it goes longer, it goes longer, it doesn't matter. Uh, as long as I'm still alive, right? Um, so, 
you know, you're just racking up time. It's is this is the Malcolm Gladwell, you know, ten thousand hours of of genius, right? Um, no, it's not ten thousand hours, not by a long shot. I tried to calculate ten thousand hours once. I'm not very good at math, but um, you know, I can use a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sort of like, you know, if you spend eight hours a day for eight hours a day, I don't spend eight hours a day drawing. I do these videos. Or, this is the bulk of my comics drawing. Like, I spend a lot more time sketchbooking. Um, I, I spend about 30 minutes on, on camera. Sometimes I do an extra hour or so off camera. You won't see. All right, I was done. Look at that. But then, um... All right, let's put in a new, a new layer. Rename to ink. If I put in eight hours a day, um, how much time would it take to get to ten thousand hours? So let's just hang on. Let me get a calculator out. I gotta calculate this. This is why that Malcolm Gladwell thing is it's both exciting and scary. Because when you hear all you gotta do is 10,000 hours. That's 1,250 days. That's at eight hours a day. Divided by 365. That's at least 3.4 years if I was doing eight hours a day. Now, it's more likely that I'm doing maybe, let's say, two hours a day. Two hours a day is 5,000 days divided by 365. That's going to take 13.7 years. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we don't have that kind of time, baby. And that's intense. Time, right? We gotta we gotta figure out the intensity of it all. Now it's it is likely that it is likely I can get to that thirteen hour mark. I mean that thirteen year mark. I'm closing up on you know five years. I'm at four years right now. I'm only at four years. This is where I'm at four years, and it's I, I would say I'm probably less than two hours a day. So, but I am at one hour a day at least. I do at least one hour a day. Hang on, let's let's calculate this out. So, <laughs> ten thousand. 10,000 hours at 1,000 is going to be 1,000. No, wait, how I got this wrong? Um, 10,000 hours at one hour a day. If we take 10,000 days and divide that by 365. We've got 27 years, 27.4 years to get good, to get real good. How many of you have got 27 years? I believe it is one of my favorite guys, Jake Parker, who said, well, if you can't shoot for 10,000 hours, you can shoot for 1,000 hours. A 1,000 hours is within everybody's reach. So 1,000 days, an hour a day is three years. That's kind of where I am right now. I may have actually surpassed my, my 1,000 hour mark. Now the issue there is you're not a, that's not considered quote unquote genius, genius level, but it ain't bad. Let's throw this in. Oh, come on. I thought I had it. Where is the line break? Could be there. Let's give it a shot. There we go. 
What was there? The um, study that Alcabets is in is, is kind of at the top of the stairs of the house that you see in page. What page is it? Um, page four. The study is up here. So there's at least one tall window with a vestibule and then there's kind of this other picture window looking thing. I could probably map out the um, the room. It's got a desk in it. There's some curtains. In this case, we're kind of, our, our point of view is we're looking up. Because he's tall. And... There we go. Fucking these dudes. All right. What would the ceiling look like? That's a good question. Too elaborate. I think I just want to put maybe I might put a texture up there or something. Not a tone, like just a you know, my pen just just a little maybe some stippling or something. Some stippling might look nice. Here's the thing, guys, when I'm, I'm, I'm talking about these calculations, and I talk about them constantly, or I think about them constantly. Um, when he's holding it this way, he's looking at where his name is. But when, I, when I'm talking about these calculations, I'm talking about the, lo the level you need to get to basic. <laughs> like, like, I don't consider myself to be at level basic yet. Um, but I have a good attitude about, like, so if you don't consider yourself basic, why are you even showing this? Why are you even, you're having these things printed, and I am. It's the DIY aesthetic. Last night, I was up late last night, and I was looking at, um, well, this is how it looks. Okay, it's kind of slope-shouldered. And he's still got that um, pin. How does he look here? Slope shouldered. Well, he's got some pin, some shoulders. I don't think I can get away from his shoulders because of the way. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah. What if we just get rid of this right here, and then we start the arm down here. Let's take a look. Without the pencils. What the hell is that? Oh, it's layer two. Yeah, it looks fine. Take my layer two off. I think this line is looking rough, but it looks okay. So it's okay to have rough lines, in my opinion. Some people go out of their way to do these sort of, um, um, vector lines. <laughs> Those dudes are wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. Your vector lines, your clean lines, they look bad. It's okay to have a less nice line. When you're trying to draw something. A less perfect line like the vector lines are like they're like mathematically perfect and you can resize them and do all this stuff you're not you're not doing anything good with them though all right so yeah I, I think that that number gets you to basic competency um, and I was looking at the Wallywood wiki page 
and it has like stuff about his early life. He was a, he was in the Merchant Marine. He was he ended up in the army and was assigned to post war Japan for a while, a short while. And uh There we go. That might be it. That might be it. Okay, there's going to be some how about a um what a panel with a map behind him. Like, what would you see in a wizard's study? How about let's do a Vitruvian man, but it's a Vitruvian. We could even put like clues in the stuff found back here. In this case, we're going to do a Vitruvian bird. We have to remember to maintain our line weight is very thin because we're now we're drawing the details of a poster that's on a wall behind the main character. So we got to have very faint lines. All right. So all this stuff about Wally Wood, um, he gets his first job in comics when he gets out of the army. And they don't give him a job in art. They give him a job in lettering. He was taking his his uh his um portfolio around, and I'm calculating. I'm like looking at how old he is. He's 22 years old. Um, he doesn't really get his first like comic job. Um, until a couple of years afterwards, he's getting rejected everywhere. He finally meets John Severin, who I've talked about John Severin uh, before. John Severin's Western comics. And he gets hired by Will Eisner. And he works with Jules Pfeiffer, who he really likes. And it's all kind of started to make sense to me, because the way Jules Pfeiffer scripts is um, he does visual scripts. He doesn't write a written script. He actually will, will draw out a whole comic <laughs> of the script. And that's the script. And that's the method, by the way, that's also used over at Archie to this day. Um, so we're going to see. Um, let's see. This is supposed to be like a a magical diagram, so it's going to have like different magical symbols on it. Oh, I want to put more runes in there. Let me find my Spruar reference. <laughs> um. So, you know, even someone as good as Wally Wood getting rejected early in his career and he doesn't really hit his stride until kind of his mid-twenties. And he doesn't get his best work out until his thirties or so. Um, he's one of the greats, you know? All right, let's see. Actually, I make this say stuff. Oh, let's see.
this would be like a map. Here we can have a portrait or something. So the map will show. Let's take a look. All right, does that sort of imply a kind of like a wizard study, sort of almost, maybe? It's not looking dark and dingy enough. There's really, there's literally no features here. You know, we just have the walls behind him. In general, I guess my other point with Wally Wood is you don't have all the time in the world. You have no time. We have no time. And Wally Wood, just like everybody else, ran out of time. You know, he had a bit of a life of excess, let's say. And eventually he had a stroke and he couldn't draw anymore. And he ended up killing himself. That is way better than what I had. Something like that. I don't know if I want to... I've got these... I'm going too bold with the lines. Looks okay. Well, this looks bad. <laughs> we can kind of Cartoon language, I'm not going to do it on this one, would be, we could do like a dashed line where he's looking. We could do a looking because he's, um, he's been using his, uh, his magic already, but I've already shown that panel that shows him doing that, so I don't, not too bad. I think I'm okay where, where we, where we ended up. I think if we did another perspective line. Maybe out here. Something like that. Oops. I keep involuntarily switching to the... Um, eraser. I think as long as we... Show some detail in the foreground. I think we're probably okay. All right, finally, we're going to halo out the form from the background so we don't get them confused or create any undue tangents. Um, I'm mostly good on this. It leaves broken lines, but they're not bad broken lines. Okay, this looks good to me. Well, let's put some more let's put some more lettering in hang on who doesn't love that i 
Maybe not that. Uh, how do we do it? We can even do like a little border on the poster. You know, when you hear the tales of the old timers, the guys that got started at 14 or 17 or 12 or whatever else, um, Those are exciting to me. Now, I know that was a different standard for what could be produced, and all the adults were off at war. <laughs> so the boys, the kids, were off creating things. So it'd be like Howard Chaikin, you know, as a as a youth, volunteering to be Gil Kane's assistant, even though he, Howard Chaikin at the time had not really, you know, become an artist yet. Ugh, so many allergies in the morning. Oh my god. All right. So, sorry about that, everyone. What can we have on this poster here? We could do like a. Over there, the portrait of some kind of weasel character. <laughs> an otter, an otter pop. Oh. Let's see. Oh, my lettering's too close to the edge. Right. Move it up just a little bit. That's a little bit more pretty pleasing. All right. That's one panel. <laughs> it took me 30 minutes. Ah. It's not really done either, because, well, I mean, by the time I throw tones in on this back wall, I think this will look pretty nice. All right, we're at the 30-minute mark. I'm going to do more today on this. Got to get my one hour in. Um, in my opinion, if we're just talking pure hours, sketchbooking counts. If we're talking about... 1,000 pages, sketchbooking does not count, unless it's a comic page. Like, I have certain pages in my sketchbook that are actual full comic pages. So I count those, because eventually I'm going to take those and use them somehow. But it has the same, like, it's the thinking that matters. So the, how you thought about and solved all the story problems and translation problems to make the, um, you know, to make the story visual to turn it into a sequential sequence. I think all those count. All right, you look at this, this is kind of annoying. I 
I'm about to have an allergy attack. Oh, great. Let's see. Okay. Are these books the same perspective as the box? Kind of not, but a little bit. I think that they would have to be like there would have to be a little bit of a, not even that much angle. Let's do a little bit of a. Maybe that much angle, right? Or something like that. Just to make it match. We just know it's just got a little bit of an angle on it. There's no need to get out the ruler. Um, It looks fine. It looks fine to me. All right. A good beginning. A good beginning is, is worth it. Please like, follow, subscribe, and I will see you later. Talk to you later.